The big win by NC State on their road, I should say wins, on yeah. their road to victory. Huge. It was pandemonium on Hillsborough <laughs> Street last night as the Wolfpack faithful celebrated the men's big upset win over Duke and the women's takedown of Texas for the first time ever. State sending both its teams to the Final Four. History being made. Michael Perchick joins us live with the latest on this uh, Final Four tournament. And of course, as we said, history. Michael, you said this morning you even drove down to the Bell Tower just to feel that energy. My wife and I went to Miami. We have no connection to NC State outside now, <laughs> living in Raleigh for the past several years. But we wanted to kind of soak all of this in. We drove down in the final seconds of that game last night, and what we saw was simply incredible. Streets blocked off around the bell tower for several blocks. And it wasn't just students, obviously plenty of them running over to the bell tower, but we saw Wolfpack fans of all generations, folks who were certainly in their 60s or 70s, may have been students during the 83 national championship run. We just saw a lot of youngsters, three, four, five-year-olds wearing the Wolfpack gear. All they've known is seeing NC State win. But for those who have grown up as diehard NC State fans, what has transpired over the past few weeks for the men's and women's teams is simply incredible. Even today, we've met with some NC State alums who weren't able to get here last night but wanted to come to the bell tower to soak up that excitement after seeing the coverage on air, on social media, both the women's and men's teams pulling off upsets in the Elite Eight. Of course, we've covered the NC State men's teams, all the upsets they had to pull throughout the ACC tournament and the NCAA tournament. The women's team, uh, really overlooked the beginning of this year, an incredible year uh, in the regular season, losing the ACC tournament, but they're in a great run as well. It's a tremendous amount of excitement here on campus, up and down Hillsborough Street. That's only going to be amped up as we get closer to both the men's and women's teams playing in the Final Four. We're going to have a lot more great coverage hearing from some of those alums, their thoughts coming up starting on ABC 11 Eyewitness News at 4 o'clock. It looks like Perchick. a party ABC we all Eleven. would want to be <laughs> at. Uh, Michael, we, we can't blame you and your wife. And, and Wes Raleigh is a lot closer than Coral Gables. We're all getting caught up in it. Michael, thank you. Yeah, and that was 3 a.m. when that team returned and everybody was out there. So a lot of excitement turning it red in Raleigh. So here's the details for the final four. For the men, NC State will take on top seed Purdue. That is Saturday night in Phoenix, riding the wave of a nine-game winning streak. As number one seed, UConn will also try and make it to become back-to-back -back championship games. We will see, but they first take on Alabama. That is also on Saturday.